Though the siege of Antwerp was marked by naval ingenuity from both sides, the rebellious Dutch eventually lost the vital port city. This was especially concerning to Elizabeth and the English, the mouth of the Thames being within 200 miles of the mouth of the Scheldt River. Though Elizabeth declined the offer to be sovereign to the northern provinces, she asked that Brill, Flushing, and Fort Ramekins be placed under English control as a protective buffer against the Spanish. Elizabeth's choice of governor for her Dutch allies was Robert Dudley, the Earl of Leicester. Despite Dudley's intentions, the two years of his rule were marked by poor choices for his pick of officials, along with complete ineffectiveness. An example for the latter being when Leicester left the country for six months. No executive decisions could be made for the rebels, a remarkable dereliction of duty in time of war. He eventually abandoned his post entirely and left the Netherlands. The increased investment Elizabeth made with the Dutch was necessary for the Protestant Queen. However, outrage from Rome and the Catholic world was yet to come. In 1587, Elizabeth beheaded her cousin and rival for the English throne, Mary, Queen of the Scots. Philip II of Spain inherited Mary's legal right for the English throne, and Pope Sixtus V promised the faithful Spanish king financial compensation for an attack against the English heretics. Philip spared no expense building the fleet of 130 ships now called the Spanish Armada. When the Armada passed through the English Channel, Commander Charles Howard, along with the great Francis Drake, harassed the fleet with their nimble and rapid-firing ships. At home on the tide and winds they knew, the English forced the battered Armada to seek shelter off the coast of France. During the night, one fire ship after another was sent. The Spanish cut their anchor ropes in a panic and drifted northeasterly. Spanish plan was to rendezvous off the Dutch coast, extract Parma from the Low Countries, and with the support of the Armada, Parma and his army would invade England. But Parma waited in vain for the Spanish navy, which now had abandoned the rendezvous at Dunkirk. It was not only the English sea dogs that thwarted the Spanish plan, but also a fleet of Dutch ships that were placed as a barricade against the now doomed Armada. The commander of the Dutch navy was Justinus of Nashua the only extramarital child of William of Orange. Though Orange had 16 children, he only had four sons. 
his eldest, Philip William, was taken as hostage by Alba. Frederick Henry. And Prince Maurice, the official heir to the House of Orange. But unlike his father, Maurice decided the Dutch would now be a self-sovereign nation. Now with the fate of his country at a critical stage, the young Maurice captured Breda, the first victory from the northern provinces without foreign support. On March 4th, 1590, Maurice smuggled 70 soldiers on a merchant ship. Once inside the city, the soldiers pounced on the garrison and opened the gates for the rest of their army. Within that ship carrying Pete was the seed of the First Republic. <laughs>